Hi there, welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Meena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Today, I'm excited to show you a brand new e-commerce template that we have just released that will allow you to create a product recommendation, a stunning product recommendation through quizzes. So one of the growing trends in e-commerce is product recommendations through quizzes, and it will allow you to create a personalized and customized experience for your users. So when you walk into a store, people that work there, they greet you and they will ask you, uh, is there something specific you're looking for? What can I help you with? And based on your answers, they will take you to the right section of the store where you will find what you're looking for. Or you can let them know, no, I'm just generally browsing and they will leave you alone. Now, if you sell stuff online, how you can create a similar experience? This is exactly what you can do using Smart Quiz Builder and using our new e-commerce template, you can create a beautiful, stunning a quiz, a recommendation quiz for your products, for your services and publish it on your site. It will help you learn a lot about your prospects because you will be asking them a bunch of questions and you can help them find what they're looking for. Now, this is not just for physical products. You should create a product recommendation for digital products as well. For example, on our DAP site, we sell licenses, right? DAP licenses. Now, DAP is a membership plugin. We offer three types of licenses, a basic, platinum and elite. But when users come to the site and they're new to our, our product, if they don't know anything about DAP, they'll have to go through the whole sales copy to understand more about our product and uh, then figure out what license is best for them. A quick recommendation through a quiz where we ask them a series of questions and then recommend the right license to them based on their answers is super helpful, right? And this allows us to collect information from our prospects they let us know exactly what they're looking for and we can let them know so this is the right license for you. Now let me take you behind the scenes to show you how you can implement a smart recommendation quiz and uh, use our new e-commerce template. It will allow you to create a beautiful, stunning quiz and help your users find the products that's the best match for them. So first, let me show you this frame quiz from Warby Parker. So if you go to their site, you can see it says find frames to try on at home. If you click on take the quiz button and this is on their homepage. What are you looking for? And you can say men's style or you can pick one of these. So say that I select that one. So you can select the right answer and you can see it says no preference or skip question. What shapes do you like? So you can select the option and a continue button shows up here. And they show this for uh, multiple choice questions. So the continue button pops up only for multiple choice where you can select more than one. So say that my options are round or this one. So I can select both and click on continue. So you can select more than one and the continue button will automatically show up. So continue. And what colors do you like? So you can select the color. And what materials do you like? Then you can select one of these options. You can continue to answer these questions. So if you want to allow users to enter their email to opt in, but you don't want to require it, you want to allow them to skip, uh, you can use this option. And this is the outcome screen and this outcome is based on your answers. So this is the frame recommendation quiz from Warby Parker. And whichever option is right for you, you can select that box and it says add it to your home try on and it's added to the cart. So this is how they are hoping their users find the right frame. And you can implement something similar using Smart Quiz Builder and our new e-commerce template. So now let me take you behind the scenes. I'll take this example. I will not add all of the questions, but I'll add just a few questions to show you how you can build something similar uh, using Smart Quiz Builder. So this is the back end of Smart Quiz Builder. And here I have added a quiz and let me show you my settings. Basic settings, give your quiz a name. And here, find frames to try on at home because I'm just trying to replicate this exact same quiz that Warby Parker has. So find frames, so this is a quiz title, this is a quiz description. And I have done the same quiz description. This is a personality quiz because I am looking to create a product recommendation quiz. All right, so save and next. Now here you can see under the display settings, I have selected in page, progress bar, slide in animation effect, and uh, retake the quiz option now. So there are several options here. You can customize based on your specific needs. Lead generation screen, yes, I want to display an opt-in form. And I want to display it after all the questions and not before the questions. Connect with your email platform. You can connect it with your email platform. If you want to add subscribers to your email platform, you can do that. And uh, here, I'm not going to select anything. Content recommendation. After they select an answer choice, if you want to add an intermediate screen with more information about their answer choice, you can use this powerful feature that SQB has, content recommendation feature. And uh, here I'm not going to select any of this. All right, so select a template. So this is the e-commerce template. All right, this is a new one we have just added. So I'm going to just select this one, save and next. All right, so this is the start screen. 
Everything that you see here is fully customizable. So this is the background image I'm using and you can see here is the customizer, right? So uh, this uh, template is a little bit different in terms of how the customizer works because in all the other templates, we have the customizer on the right side. But for this template, we have this global customizer to make it really easy for you to customize different settings. And so it's all in here, all right? Whatever you want to customize, it's all here. So let's start with this one first. So first one is width and the height of this entire template. And second one is background image. So this image that you see, if you want to upload an image, you can do that. You can change the image, you can remove the image if you don't want to use background image. And each one of these is customizable. If you just want a background color, you can enable this setting and add a background color. And background opacity, see like this, if you want to add opacity, you can do that. Inner background style. So this is the one, all right? So this is the inner container that contains the actual quiz. And so you can increase the width of this container uh, opacity of this part so you can see here like this you can control the opacity and uh, intersection color the color this section background color of that so all of this is customizable then answer text style so this is for the answer screen i'll show you that when we go to the answer screen skip button style so this is again on your question screen if you want to allow users to skip a specific question you can enable that and you can customize the style of your skip button here and the next button is for continue button and you can customize the style of the continue button here so everything is fully customizable super simple uh, and everything is right here so this customizer that you see here it will always stick to the top so that even if you're moving down here you will always find the customizer to make it easy for you to customize the settings so everything that you see on the screen is fully customizable, all right? So this button color, you can see here, this is customizable here. If you want to change the color to something different, uh, you can do that here. So next, outcome screen. So this is the product recommendation quiz, right? So here you want to let users know based on your answers, these are the products that are a good match for you. And so you can create multiple outcomes here, right? Add a new outcome and you can create as many outcomes as you want. And based on their answer choices, you can map the answers to the right outcome. So based on their answer choices, SQB will assign a point every time they pick an answer. And whichever outcome that answer is connected to will get a point. And by the end, whichever outcome has the most points is their outcome type. And SQB will redirect them to that outcome screen and they will see the recommendation based on that. Here you can add all the products that you want users to see based on this outcome. So you can upload an image for your product on the outcome screen. And whatever image you want, you can upload that here. And buy now button. So you can link your buy now button through this one to wherever you want to send them uh, based on whatever product they want. So if this is the product they want, the buy now will send them to the checkout page. So you can link this directly to the checkout page because they have already answered all the questions. They already know uh, what they want. So you send them here based on what they want. So you can directly send them to your checkout page so they can complete the purchase of this recommended product. All right, so this is the question screen. So in this quiz, I currently have six questions. So first question, what are you looking for, right? So I have copied this from the Warby Parker quiz. Let's increase the size of this image, decrease the size of this image using this customizer. You can see all the options we have at the top. So question type, you can switch the question type here to a different question type. I'm using single choice questions. And image answer, if you want to have image uh, answers, this should be enabled by default, it's enabled. And choose layout. If you want to allow up to four images per, per row, you can use that option, right? Currently, I only have two images. It doesn't matter. But if you have more images, you can control how many are displayed on each row using this setting. And allow skip. So if you want to allow users to skip the question, you can enable allow skip, and they can skip the question. And the customizer for skip is right here. So I'm going to disable that. And here you can map based on the answers. You can map to the right to the right outcome. But here I only have one outcome currently, right? So let's go ahead and create one for uh, women's style. And then we can map it to that. So I'm going to go back to the outcome screen. And outcome number one is for men's style. So here you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to clone this outcome and call it women's style. And here you can add completely different product recommendation. I'm not going to do that. This, this is just for demo purposes, but... You can add the right products here for women's style and the right products here for the men's style in the outcome screen. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So question number one, you can see here, men's style and women's style. So men's style, I'm going to map it to the men's style and you have to make sure the connect to outcome is selected. And if it's not showing this, just click on skip mapping once and go back to connect to outcome and it should show you this section, which will allow you to map 
the answer choice to the right outcome. So I'm going to select this one and save this question. Moving on to question number two, you can add as many questions as you want. Question number two, I have already added this question. What's your face width? And these are the three options. And you can add this. I'm not sure. Skip it. And what you display here, you can fully customize the text. Again, the skip button style is here. If you want to change the color to something else, you can do that, right? So like this, and you can change the text to whatever you want. You can change the color to whatever you want. So here again, you can connect to outcome and based on the answers, you can map to the right outcome. Now, this is really not the way you should be doing it because I just have a men's style and women's style has outcome, but you need to create outcomes where based on actual answer selection and uh, their preferences, right? So here, this is just for demo. So I just created this, but uh, when you create an outcome, you have to take into account all of these possible answer selections and create different outcomes and put them in the right bucket. And question number three, which shapes do you like? And here I have added these three options. And here I have just skipped mapping. Question number four, this question will be displayed if on the first screen, the option they select is women's style and connect answer choices to the right outcome. Here I'm just going to select this option here. So I'm going to be using branching logic, All right? You can see. So here I'm going to enable branching because the questions they see depends on their answer choices. So I'm going to be creating a funnel with branching logic. So I'm going to show you how to do that and select an option. I'm just going to remove this question. This is not required here. All right, moving on to lead generation screen. This is how it looks. Everything is click and edit. You can change the contents. You can change the color. You can add custom fields if you want. There are so many options. I'm just going to change the color to like this and that's it. All right, save and save and next. Now the quiz is ready. So all you have to do is publish this short code on your WordPress site and you have a product recommendation quiz. And if you are going to use this quiz on a completely different site where you don't even have Smart Quiz Builder, use the embed code feature. So say that you have a Shopify store and you want to use the embed code there, just copy this and use it there. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up branching logic. So click on quiz funnels. So here I have selected the right quiz. And uh, these are the questions you can see. I have set up branching logic where what are you looking for? If they pick men's style, I send them here. If they pick women's style, I send them to this question. And ultimately, they all see this question. So it's completely up to you. If you want to disconnect something, you can disconnect. And if you want to reconnect, just drag it and drop it on that alert section right there. And that's it. Go ahead and save. So now let's publish this quiz and let me show you how this works. All right, so we are back here and short code tab. Copy this and I'm going to publish this on a WordPress page. So this is the quiz short code, publish it. And I'm just using regular default WordPress editor. I'm not even using my page builder here. Let's take a look in the front end and see how it looks. All right, you can see I'm just using the default WordPress theme, but this is the quiz. So this is how it looks, take this quiz. And I have personalized, I have added the personalization here. Let me show you this. So this is a settings page, this is the quiz. And here you can see personalization. Do you want to ask for first name? Yes, I do. So I have added that here. All right. So I have added the screen here and then you can personalize your questions and answers based on that. So I haven't done that. But you can personalize the whole experience and let's take the quiz. So first of all, should we call you enter the name? All right. What are you looking for? So here I'm going to select women's style and it's going to show relevant questions, right? Based on my answer choice. So what's your face width and which colors do you like? So this question everyone is going to see based on my setting. So you can select the right one and opt in. And you can see your result type is women's style because that's the only thing I have in my outcome. I didn't create a whole bunch of outcomes. And users can click on the button to check out and to purchase the right product. So you can see there are so many options and it's up to you how you want to use it, how you want to customize it, what type of questions you want to ask that will help you decide uh, what's the right uh, product for them and recommend the right product, right resources to them. Uh, you can now do this using SQB's very powerful and smart recommendation engine and uh, this new e-commerce template that will allow you to create beautiful uh, product recommendation quiz in a few easy steps. So I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I publish a lot of videos like this. So you'll be the first to know when I publish something like this. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for making the time to watch this video. I'll be back soon.
Bye for now.